Hi foodies, welcome to Mellow Bites. On a weekday, we decided to have our lunch at Daini Laichi restaurant which was recommended by one of our good friend. The restaurant is very close to Vishal D Mall Madurai. As we entered in, we loved the calm yet brightly lit ambience. The interiors were so appealing to eyes and gave a warming look to have a very relaxed and peaceful lunch. Over the menu card, they had varied North Indian style food from tikkas, kebabs for starters, makhani, palak kurma, tikka based gravies, both veg and non-veg, biryani, pulao varieties for rice, and for breads they had tandoori roti, non varieties, stuffed parathas and kulchas, desserts, juices, and other mocktails as well. With price varying from rupees seventy five to rupees seven fifty. We were little upset to know that galauti kebab and krum broli was not available that day because it was one of our favorite starter and a dessert recipe. But we had tons of other dishes to explore, and the hospitality team was so helpful in choosing. using dishes based on our priorities during the wait time they served a bowl of pepper pepper along with mint yogurt dip and indian style salsa we started munching it in all different ways possible the good part is we were not hungrily waiting for the food in that 10 to 15 minutes of wait time for the starter we ordered glafi sheik kebab This was a mutton based sheik kebab and along with the kebab they also served three dip varieties the kebab plating itself was so appetizing it was irresistibly too good we also tried with all three dips mint chutney mayonnaise and sweet chutney this kebab is definitely a must try dish in this restaurant so so yummy with or without the dips For the main course we chose three bread varieties the two curries and the rice variety Bhargav chose cheese naan with mutton rogan josh He munched the cheese naan and said it is so so soft and tasty and it can be had as such without any gravies Mutton Rogan Josh is a Kashmiri style curry. It had the aroma of ginger, the color of the Kashmiri chili powder with very soft and feathery texture of the meat into it. It was again a super yummy curry we had over there. Poorna had ordered tandoori roti and her favorite palak paneer. She was enjoying every little bite of the super soft tandoori roti with mildly spiced palak paneer. I gave a try on stuffed aloo paratha. Look how beautifully the aloo masala is layered between the soft parathas. I also took a bite of it with palak paneer and it was so good. I also liked the bites of the super cheesy paneer in it. Then we got the chicken biryani. They gave a raita and salna with it. The biryani was made with basmati rice. It didn't have a egg in it. This was not a top-notch flavor, but it was good and mildly flavored with soft chicken pieces into it. Then we ordered three dessert varieties. A brownie with the ice cream, a mango panna cotta, and a must try dish that we had been planning for here kunafa the most difficult part when you order desserts is you can't stop eating it from taking videos look how barga was tempted to eat it and we had to forcibly stop him from eating it the brownie with the ice cream was a good try the brownie was super spongy and tasty panna cotta is one of my favorite dessert because it is mildly sweet and creamy and this panna cotta was really good though the mango jelly over it is just unavoidable i like plain panna cottas too but this panna cotta was really good 
we are trying this kunafa for the very first time so they asked to pour a sugar syrup over it so i poured a little because i don't want it too sweet but when i tried it on for the first bite i felt that i need little more sweet then i poured little more sugar syrup over it and yeah this kunafa is really a wonderful dessert that you can have over here we had a chance to interact with the owner of the restaurant she was very curious to know whether we liked the food how was the ambience and everything she was very particular to know each customer's feedback who visited over there and we happily shared our feedback and how we enjoyed the hospitality and the flavors of the food over there it was very nice interacting with the person who shared the same passion for food so we were asking about how she chose these interiors beautifully designed over there she was happily sharing everything to us truly caring hospitality and of course having a nice chit chat with the restaurant owner it was really 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 a nice time over there and if you ask us if we would visit this place again of course we'll do visit this place again and again and again Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel meet you in next video bye